Uh, tur turn off the lights. Wear headphones. D don't don't sleep. I'm I'm Grimwit. This is Frontiers of the Mind. He's got a really big head. Having to deal with that big head. It would not be difficult to take some of these rooms. The rooms themselves are kind of liminal, right? So it wouldn't be hard to take one of these room pictures. Ooh. And uh, and just insert myself. Hey, there's, well, there's one of the blades. So that actually was a picture from this show. Meat room would probably be more eye-catching for this <laughs> CTR. That's a big spider. He's, he's dead. He's, that's a dead That's a dead boy. It's a dead child that was eaten by a spider is what that is. Hey. Untrusted. Good news. We're going into entities. Wall monsters, creatures, and anomalies. All right, I'll let you guys decide. Better refill my tea real quick. I turned off the lights. It is stark dark in my room right now. Oh, that's the end of my tea. I can't tell how much AI was used in this. It feels like none, which means they didn't use AI. Or they're really good at, not, at faking it. Most of it so far has just been screen caps. All of them at once? I need to open up another version of this game at the same time. All right, I guess we'll start at Wall Monsters and move on. Wall Monsters were special features of the show, and we find very few similar examples in other bestiaries of legendary creatures. Are there other bestiaries of legendary? Is there a bestiary? Do we have a monster manual in real life medieval times? It is difficult to say if they were allies or enemies since their behavior was always unpredictable. They would randomly appear in empty rooms and nothing in particular seemed to announce their arrival. If wall monsters made sure to if the wall monsters made sure to terrify the assistant players, they were only a voice for the bearer of the helmet. What? Zelda had wall monsters. Yeah, they did. But but Zelda had bombs, right? Zelda would throw bombs at the wall monsters, to br especially the cracked wall monsters, on 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 her way to rescue Princess Link. I like that one. I think that's cool. Snakes, snakes, dragon snakes. All artwork can be immediately improved with dragon snakes. Let's add four. Somehow, they represented the spirit of the castle. They knew its history, and they had watched the adventures of all uh, the adventures of all the players. Ooh, that one's neat. When they try to decipher their particular way to communicate, we find their words a sort of ancient wisdom. Blow up to get wall monsters up. I read what you meant, not what you said. Snake, why does it always have to be snakes? Why does it always have to be bombs? Their size and color revealed how dangerous they could become. I remember this guy. I don't know. I, I remember him because he's so freaky. Because his eyes moved while he talked. It was just freaky. However, the production crew asserted they were not to blame for the apparition of a face in the altar room during season four finale. It'd be this one. It's, is that a Kaldashian? 
blow the blow the wall. It'd be a different show. No, no, that's not how glory holes work. That's an innie, not an Audi. Creatures. Yeah? Oh, this the lips on this this wall. This wall monster. The the lips. <laughs> Thank you for the scream of terror. Uh, here they are. You'll have to come up with your own stats. This one. Isn't that just a person in a dress attached to a winged something? This was this this useful. I wonder if this So this might actually be a coded something too. I feel a combination somewhere in here. Anomalies. That looks anomalous. Oh, I can actually do something here. Ah, uh, trustworthy. Can I go back? I can. This is not... This is a good room. Sard the wall monsters. Sard is such a great word. Yes, we are going to sard them. That's what glory holes are. Anomalies? You don't see those every day. Uh... Head. Look at the size of that boy's head. It's got a big head. I like this. Because you don't notice it at first. Um, and that's when two clawed hands showed up behind the camera and played peekaboo. That's a brain. I like this section. This is a cool section. Sard the wall monsters in half. Sard the stuffing out of them. <laughs> Hello! Hi, gremlin guy. How you doing? Hey, gremlin guy here. How you, how's the show going? Everything going alright with you guys? Then I'd say hi, check on you. You eating popcorn? Looks good. Um... <laughs> I don't know what's happening here. I actually don't... I can't comment on this. Eyes, 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 eyes. Wait, is that just my imagination? Maybe they're not eyes. That's just a blurry vision. But I think there's a face in the background. And then there was that time the bearer of the helmet had copies of them, and they were all doing something different and bumping into each other. That was a great episode. And then it ends with a well, I think. Okay, well, there's the anomalies. I'm not going to talk to Google. So that was entities, right? Yeah, that was entities. So now we're at objects. There's a lot of objects here. I, I guess. Does anybody have a... Does, does anybody want to start with an object or do I boringly just go from beginning to end? Look like screw heads to me. Oh, that might have been screw heads. That's actually creepier than if they were like fro floating brains or something. Just you walk into a room and giant screw heads are sticking out of the ground. And like the production crew are like, we didn't do that. We don't even have screws that size. Okay, if I do this and you guys don't have a preference, I'm going to go backwards. So let's start with miscellaneous. How much jank is programmed? 
how much is just due to the format? The flasks, obviously. All right, I'm going to back up out of the ring. Sorry. Sorry, the ring. Where's the flask? There's the flask. Hell yeah. A great number of distinctive flasks were presented to the contestants. Help does nothing. There is no help for me here. They were labeled with tags supposed to give information about its contents. Homer? What? I can't read these other two. It was proved later that these flasks were filled with sand, oil, or bicarbonate of soda. Fine bicarbonate. A salt containing anion HCO3, sodium bicarbonate. Okay. Each of the contestants would choose the flask that expressed a yearning for fierce motivation or luck. Baking soda. Oh, thank you. Why didn't they just say baking soda in the definition? Interesting to have a, a flask. I was I was going through Hobby Lobby the other day because I had to replace the acrylic on my Syntec. And they had flasks. All kinds of flasks. If I had... If I had $100, I would just buy flasks. They had corks. Some had little stoppers. I'd use them for everything. I'd use them to, to hide my herbs in. This one would be oregano. That one, be, one would be turmeric. So fucking cool. That's how. That's what I want my... Uh, God damn. That's what I want my ingredient rack to look like. What is this uh, jar of strange substance? Well, what does it say? It says, I have newt. It's garlic. The contestants seemed more unlikely to take interest in the flasks with the more grotesque names for tags. I mean, that's that's a given. I think that says tartar sauce? Tar tartars? The corks were sealed after two se uh, season two when the contestants drank a whole flask of oil before <laughs> the crew could react. <laughs> I crave the garlic. I crave the garlic salt. Uh, Brits call it bicarb, huh? Ah, you hid your herbs. That's where I hid them. That that one's oregano. That one's rosemary. That one's basil. That one's marijuana. That one is bay leaves. The last one, bay leaves. No help. Still no help. Okay, so we've done the flasks. Any other suggestions? Or do I just jump? Actually, you know what? I'll do miscellaneous. You guys look and decide. Also, we gotta look at keys eventually, because keys are apparently how you get to the purple dimension. But uh, I'm gonna go through miscellaneous real quick, and then I will look at your suggestions for which item to go next. Among the objects offered by the con to the contestants, some of them did not belong to any particular category, like the smoking ring. It's actually a list somewhere online of what Eye of Newt and what it really means. It would be really cool to have, I, I have, my cookbook it would be really funny to put everything in code like instead of tomato sauce i say blood dragon blood pie we're going to do the pie next I'll write that down real quick so i remember pie um a jog uh, a jog in the shape of a buffalo horn you mean jug a spell book like you do a figurine. That's a bag of salt. That's a Buddha stash. That's not a figurine. An hourglass. Pretty cool. Hey, they found concentrated red. I knew that would come up. A dish towel. That's a dish towel. Soap. That is not a bar of soap. That's a block of soap. That is a block of soap. A vase. A bell. And there's no help here. Back. A uh, cube of soap. Yes, I would like a cube of soap. Imagine bathing with that damn thing. Actually, it's not too hard. Get it wet. Get a rag. You could use this until you grind it down enough that you could properly use soap to direct body. Okay, question to everybody real quick before I click on the pie. Soap to direct body or soap to rag to body? How do you do it? How do you do this? 
grind it into a sphere of soap. That's a, yeah, that actually makes more sense in the in the bar of soap. Soap to body, says Doom Lad. I am also a soap to body. I'm glad I'm not alone. The kids who would choose the pie expect a need to share or on on the contrary a yearning for acknowledgement. That's pie. The pies were presented a few times to the contestants, to those who would have cho choose them seem to be more likely to find themselves in the yellow rooms. Uh-oh. Poor kids. Another soap to body. All right. Uh, people in, in YouTube land, all you, you, d distinctly you. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Dude, let's actually talk about this. You. You right there. I can see you. I can see you looking. All right, I know you. And I'm telling you. Put something in the comments. Soap to body or soap to rag to body? Thank you. So, are these... Getting these items seem to directly insert an emotion into the contestants that get them, right? The, sh the pies in the shows were prepared in a nearby bakery, which is never accepted to reveal the recipe. A family heritage from generation to generation. I refreshed because I thought it was weird that I said a common like Liek a second after Doom Lad, and it still took ages to show up. Yeah, it might be. It might be Twitch. Soap rag body says cross. All right, we've we've got a dissenter in our midst. All right, uh, what you guys decide next? Uh, we've done miscellaneous. We've done pie. I'm gonna go for key. We've also done flasks. So there's plenty of other items to pick from because I don't want to do these in order. Symbol says, okay, Doom Lad says symbol, so I'll do that one next. Symbol. I'm gonna write that down. Uh, I wanna see key. I wanna see if we can get to the purple room. Various foods, says untrust. Foods. Um, the contestants who would choose the key expressed a longing for freedom and knowledge a need to unlock a zone in their own mind, or to express their determination to resolve a complex inner conflict. These 12 to 14 year old children has expressed a longing for freedom and knowledge and a need to unlock a zone in their own mind or express their determination to resolve a complex inner conflict. Have you talked to children? Apparently, a specific protocol was implemented to the bearer of the helmet who would choose the key. The one that has things hooked up to the back of his eyes. Many among them could access the land of dreams. The, the process generally followed those steps. When a contestant chose the key, it would trigger the operation of a specific well in one of the nearby rooms. Hey, we saw this. We saw this at the end of one of the room things. I think it was talking about the purple room. If a contestant decided to step in, they could access the purple dimension, as Jay would sometimes call it in his notes. Jay was a weird dude. In all likelihood, one of the extra dimensional translocations gave the greatest number of results. What kind of results? The dimension was finally detected thanks to the technology integrated in the helmet number four. Okay, we need to write that down. Helmet number four. Will this come up in the jester room? Maybe. The images shows a dominant figure. What the fuck is happening? Uh, giant marble people. Uh, but what? The images show a dominant feature of pink-purple color 
But we, we ignore if this dimension really adopted those colors or if it was an effect produced by the recording process. Well, Jay called it the purple dimension. I have an onion for a head. I am from Dark Souls. After the descent into the well, the contestants would reach a forest. Several explorers of the Purple Dimensions mentioned the apparition of a door which seemed to lead into the darkness. Onion-san. If they stepped through one of the doors, the contestants would be brought back to the initial forest. I like how there's just a black. There's just a black. It's right there. It's in the middle of the room. The black. Huge breathing meatballs would then appear. I beg your pardon? Network 7 Studios apparently caught fire right after J right when Jay tried to make more thorough map of that zone. Uh, and that was the end of the... Are we not going to talk about the meatballs? The only human figure who could be found... Hang on, I'm going to write down the meatballs. No, we're not. I'm not going away from the meatballs. That's going to come up later. I think we've seen the meatballs. Meatballs. Just I'm just writing the word meatballs. Uh, the only human figure who could be found there was a sort of mute ferryman who never reacted to the contestants' solicitations. Oh, you come across a ferryman at a boat. Hey, ferryman, would you like to buy a, a candy bar? It really helps my school out. I don't know if the British did that. But have you heard of Jesus um, have you heard, have you heard the good gospel of Dagon? What kind of solicitations? Still no help. The next one was, uh, symbol. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So the next one was foods. The contestants choosing foods during the choice trial expressed their needs for energy and motivation. Wait, I read this, didn't I? Don't pay the ferryman. Don't even fix a price. Don't pay the ferryman until he gets you to the other side. Accurate. Copper bars are not foods. Disagree. That's a fish. The players seem to, to develop different physical or cognitive capacities according to the products they would choose. That might be cheese. This is a potion. I will eat this bone. Hey, the marrow is nutritious. The only incident happened in episode 7, season 3, when the roasted chicken was offered to a contestant during the choice trial. The players started to weep with joy, hit by a fit of neurotic euphoria in front of the chicken, and the sequence had to be interrupted. It was the first and last time that cooked food was offered during the show. Okay, so the fish isn't real. Hello, Fairman. I am an... Oh. It's Ni Nigerian prince. I got it. I got gotcha. you. I need 12 million Dapluneros. Okay. Um. So, let's see here. Uh, I'm going to go with... Gold, so you guys get to decide between fruits and veg, stone, glove, weapon, or bone. But I, I want gold. I thought it was Niger Nigerian. Algerian. Argonian. Each contestant who chose the gold bar seemed to be searching for eternity and inner wealth. What? I like they've spiritualized it, right? They've turned it into alchemy. Um, I'm going to take that as an, a vote for bone on trusted. I'll write that down. The longing for accomplishment was almost pathological, and it often appeared through hasty and inconsiderate decisions that threw overconfident reaction. Oh, and through overconfident reaction. 
and yet the contestants who would choose gold usually led their teams to victory. That's, again, the cube of soap. Bone. All the contestants who selected the bone during the choice trial seemed to be motivated by a need for rebirth or a sort of psychological reinvention. You know what I just realized? You know what I just realized? Do you know the most difficult thing? Cheese! Okay, we'll do cheese next. Christ. Do you know the difficult thing to do? Discover somebody's motivations. Some of the time, when you're dealing with businesses, you can, you can easily determine that their motivation is money. But occasionally, when you're dealing with a business like Hoi Fong Sriracha Chili Sauce, the motivation was not money. The motivation was to make chili sauce. So it's difficult to determine motivations. These have all described the motivations of the children who have chosen these particular objects. I just wanted to point that out. We're not getting feedback from the children. We're getting a discussion of what they were motivated by, which is subjective, in my humble opinion. Choosing the bone was about accepting your own ending in order to live again. There's a section on cheese, pointing out a large cheese. Well, oh shit, well, cheese, we're doing cheese next anyway. Each contestant selecting this object would often display signs of excitement or great physical condition, along with a disconcerting ease to move around in spite of the helmet. That's hilarious. What? Wait, what? What was that last bit? Oh, there is no cheese. There is no cheese. What do we got left? Fruits and veg, stone, glove and weapon. Uh, let's go with weapon. Every weapon submitted to the contestant's choice was fake. Obviously. Is that is that potion or poison? The player who would choose a weapon were sometimes motivated by a desire for revenge or by feeling of depreciation. I guess it's the opposite of appreciation. When, uh, when there was a weapon on the table, it was systematically chosen. Worried by the message that it would deliver, the production eventually decided to considerably reduce their presence until they were finally completely dismissed despite Jay's sharp disapproval. The cheese. Uh, stone, glove, and fruits and veg. I don't know, I guess we can eat our fruits and veg. The contestant favoring fruits and vegetables during the choice trial manifested a need for vitality and energy or, or an overwhelming thirst for life. Apparently, vegetables were a more psychological form of food. What? Whereas the fruits seemingly affected the player on a physiological plan. Cat, can I help you? Would you like to be in my lap? I guess you would. Let me make room. You're an idiot. I love you. True of heart, dumb of ass. Several precious stones were offered to the contestants. Those who would take them during the choice trial expressed their, through this decision, a need for anchoring for personal stability. Huh. Oh, okay. Cat, you're in my way. Turn into the microphone. There we go. That is your penance. Get off of my lap. Or, or claw into my knee. Whichever is better for you. Several stones of color were submitted during the trials, and apparently the red ones were the stones that would trigger the greatest number of negative reactions amongst other contestants. And we see there's, there's like a lump of pure green right there. <laughs> there's a lump of pure red. She is clawed into my knee. She is not leaving my leg. 
Uh, glove, I guess, is what we need to do. Pick something, you might get help, I don't know, and go. <laughs> Each contestant who would choose the glove sought a feeling of protection and safety, but also an express need of limits. It feels like these are now tarot cards. I really want to go through this game with a sketchbook. I don't have time tomorrow because I have to draw an orgy, but I really want to go through this with a sketchbook. Can't do it Thursday either. I need to uh, make playgrounds, just like a shit ton of playgrounds, just like all the playgrounds. Fuck, that's a lot of pretty playgrounds. Choosing the glove could be useful to solve the struggles the team could meet, or it could reveal much more personal need from the bearer of the helmet. I need that glove. The fabric of the gloves were made of affected... The fabrics of the gloves were made of affected the statistical frequency of that choice. What does that mean? The contestants seemed to prefer real leather gloves, real Corinthian leather gloves, and they never chose the gloves made of synthetic fiber. Because who would have that? Also a skull. Okay, what haven't we done? Food, fruits, gold, key, pie, stone, glove, flask, wep, symbol, bone, miscellaneous. We've done them all. We can get out of here. Uh, experiments. Okay. We, we are now at the experiments. So this is what was going on behind the scenes the entire time. This is the heart of the game. Let's get into it. Hmm? Okay, well, you know, not a great start, but it's probably redacted. How about remote viewing? After Jay went missing, it, it appeared from the different documents which were found that he was particularly interested in experiments related to remote viewing. Um, the remote viewing experiments, I believe, was some of the subjects done by... Was that MKUltra or was MKUltra just about getting people really high for no reason? But I believe the CIA did try to do experiments with remote view viewing. And... Okay, this is going to make me sound like a crazy person, but hear me out. I think they do have some scientific value. Yeah, they tried to remote viewing stuff. So there were some... Let's call it statistical anomalies where it did kind of show off that, yeah, maybe this is working. Not perfectly, but maybe it's working. The study was eventually shut, shut down, as far as we know, and, like, nobody takes it seriously now. They don't take it seriously because the CIA wants you to think it's a joke. Why do you think the X-File was created? Home now, I can actually see things. Ooh. Well, we're about to get into the good stuff. Right now, we're at remote viewing. Oh. Yeah, that's a picture I think of when I think of remote viewing. Remote viewers, the secret history of American psychic spies. And Jay was interested in this shit. Jay was captivated by the CIA's research on this matter. Ha ha! He had consulted the entirety of the research conducted by Russell Targ and Harold Plourf of Stanford University. Hey, so I've been calling Jay a he just because the name Jay is a he thing. But we know Jay is male. So write that down, everybody. Put that on your scorecard. Hey, there's Russell Targ. He's a physicist. He looks like Egon Spangler. I'm assuming one of these guys is Harold Puthoff? On his note, Jay mentioned the mysterious Oracle project, and we believe it could be related to Protocol 12. Protocol 12. There's a number. So, helmet number four and protocol 12. Oh, the eyeball dimension. We all know about the eyeball dimension. Everybody's been to the eyeball dimension. 
There's no reason not to freak out about the eyeball dimension. Be not afraid. During the last three seasons of Maze Masters, the helmet was probably equipped with a device allowing a kind of remote viewing, but no proof was uh, no proof of results related to the research has ever been found. Keep in mind, these children have something hooked up to the back of their eye. What is what? What am I? Is this a bed? Oh, uh, what? Wait, what? Th that was good. Why? Why did we? No, no, no. We're going back in. Hang on. Okay, I guess we're not. This is a difficult area to explore. Hallucinogens. Trapped opening a door. Yeah. Uh, brain camera. So we only have information about remote viewing. I didn't catch the bottom two. I'll, I mean, I'll try again. Hallucinogens. And brain camera. I hope that helped. I, I want to see the end of remote viewing again. Okay, I think it was just images related to remote viewing stuff. I've read paranormal um, books on the paranormal. Like, serious ones... Because some of them just devolve into ranting, and it's very difficult. No, I, I want details. I want numbers. I don't want statistics either. I want numbers. <sighs> anyway. Uh, I mean, the thing about remote viewing, it crashed you back, yeah. can't imagine giving kids hallucinogens ends well for anyone. Um, well, developing the minds, you know. Uh, anytime you do something terrible to corrupt the youth, you're basically taking a nice, clean plate and spattering it with blood and feces and throwing it on the ground and shattering it. But in all honesty, uh, this doesn't usually happen. Remember, men make you tough, but mothers make you twisted. Um, I'm not even sure where I was going with that. So, so here we are. We're at more. We have, we have stepped into a new frontier. This has nothing to do with the show, and it includes things as Third Eye Pictures, Theories, Archives, Network 7, missing footage, I'll bet you there's nothing here because it's missing, bonuses, and back. Uh, well, I mean, back just takes us back. I'm going to make a cut here for YouTube, even though this is a little short, because this is a perfect cutting point. So, that. Um... We'll be right back. After these messages, we'll be right back. 